Hey, what's going All on, right. ladies and gentlemen? Yes, sir. Episode Let's 73 get it. of the ITC Podcast, baby. It's good mm-hmm. to be back another week so we can talk our stuff. Yep. yep. A lot of stuff. Oh, Smiggity smack. Again. The usual. A lot of Every stuff. week, man. You never fail. That's our startup. Uh, a lot of stuff didn't happen this week. Yeah. Yep. It's a like lot of interesting stuff. Yep. Stuffings. So uh, we got to first Doctor get yep. into the, the serious situation. Uh, once again, I know we've been talking about it off camera, but yep. rest in peace. Kevin Samuel. Yeah, man. His, rest, um, in rest in peace to the his, man. Uh, rest in peace. Untimely, Very unexpected. Unfortunate death. Uh, apparently, it, it dealt with, I think he had like a cardiac, it was like cardiac arrest. Yeah. Like a heart yeah. attack. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, the person he was with, he was with uh, a young lady. And uh, apparently, she's a nurse. She was trying to get him some help or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they weren't able to uh, pretty much uh, save him. And it's just a, a sad crazy, situation. It's very and, crazy. Um, I think. The conversation we're trying to have today uh, is it's more so of where did people's humanity go when it comes yeah. to life and death? Uh, yeah. We've seen a lot on social media, a lot mostly coming from women. And I, I hate to say this, a lot of black women are, well, I wouldn't say a lot. Some black women are championing the, championing the his death. It feels like a lot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and uh that's yes, that's the issue that I think a lot of people are having. It's like, at what point do you dislike someone so much where you're happy with them dying? For example, yeah. you got Vivica A. Fox, Let's see, a popular actress. You know, a lot of people know who she is. She's going out there on her platform saying this is karma for him, for, you know, disrespecting black women or whatnot. And that's... To me, I don't think that's, that's what's cold. up. I think that's crossing the line, and uh, I want to kind of give it to you guys on y'all thoughts and opinions on I'm, how y'all feel about it. I, I think everybody has an opinion on something, and so also everybody doesn't have to agree with that yeah. opinion. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so if he had, you know, so many outlandish or crazy opinions to you or whoever it is that may disagree with what it is that he has to say, mm-hmm. then turn him off. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's really that simple. simple. Mm-hmm. So, like, simple. laughing and joking about this man's passing is kind of, it's, it's, it's low. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's different, like, because there's a lot of stuff, like, I, I, I don't, I personally didn't watch Kevin Samuel like that. I, yeah. I've seen some, some clips. I've watched some videos of him here and there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, some points I agree with. Some points I was like, yeah, this dude's yep. tripping. Yeah. But, I mean, that's just, that's people in general. That's life. That's opinions. That's yep. all that stuff. That's normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not going to agree with everything. I'm not going to disagree with everything somebody says. Well, some people, <laughs> but uh, but regardless, like I, I'm not laughing at the fact that the man died when he had so many controversial topics or whatever. It's just like he didn't do anything personally to you. Like, get over it. Facts. Get over Facts. yourself. It's, it's sick, bro. Very sick. You know, it's crazy when it was just rumors circulating that he had passed. Yep. I immediately just thought to myself, like, OK. This is about to be this is about to be some shit. Excuse my language, but you're gonna have a huge oh, pardon, perspe- uh, percentage of females just like celebrating over this. And I'm like, of course, it didn't surprise me. Like, what type of world do you live in to where, regardless of how you feel, this man, bro, just passed away? You know, he obviously, you know, he might have had some controversial topics and stuff like that. But the fact that you're celebrating a man's death, like honestly, act like you know, he he, he killed people or did anything, bro. He just had his own opinion. Yeah. And the fact that, like, yeah, I really got to, man, look yourself in the mirror and be like, what type of person I am that I'm celebrating a person mm-hmm. that died? Wasn't necessarily an evil person. Yeah. That just passed just... away. He found his niche on, you know, from, you know, the internet and whatnot. You know, he got viral. You know, he, 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 he you know, he was living well off that. Mm-hmm. And the fact that, bro, like, y'all didn't, like, for one second. And what the crazy thing about it is, bro, his, 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 uh, you know, his topics probably went viral, you know, of course, you know, about saying a lot of shit about the women. Right. Bro, he bashed men just as bad. And me as a man and stuff, I've watched a few videos where he was bashing men. I was like, oh, you know what? You know, he's right. You know, hell, there's times where I related to what he was saying. I'm like, you know what? Buddy's right. right. But yet, yeah, when it comes to the females, y'all didn't. I don't want to say that. Y'all just instantly got triggered. Oh, how dare you bash a, a queen? How dare you bash a black? I'm like, that's because we ain't getting our feelings. Yeah, what's wrong mm-hmm. with constructive criticism? Like, 
That's, don't that's get me wrong. I mean, the man says some so. stuff and like, are oh, you out of line? But at the end of the day, bro, you know, internet entertainment, bro, it happens. Bro. Everybody, everybody yeah. has an asshole, you know, mm-hmm. perspective in them. You know, it it, it happens. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It just really goes to show, man, how you know how low we become as society, man. So. Oh, yeah, bro. It's it's showing, and it shows it every day. Like you know, we we when it gets when it gets to a point when somebody pass away yep. and you don't have a heart of sympathy, um. That's just showing you how dark these times yeah. are. And I pray yeah. for the times we in because all that's done is solidify the period of time that we're in. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. when when does it get to a point to where when somebody passes we talking about somebody who like Brandon was saying, they, he wasn't a killer, he wasn't a serial rapist or anything like that. I mean, who are we to cast judgment, bro? Mm-hmm. Like we we really sitting here like allowing you know, people really just sitting here, you know, talking bad and down on the dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and blatantly with a profile yeah. picture and everything. These ain't just no YouTube people in the comments with no profile picture, bro. These are people yeah. that actually can be searched, looked up, mm-hmm. followed. You can see where they work. <laughs> and they yeah, really they out care. here. And I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, if I agree with a person or not, and just like Brandon was saying, like, bro, there's clips, plenty of clips. Like, his plenty. earlier on videos. Yep. I actually went and looked at his early videos because when I first heard of him, I think the homie had sent him over. And he was getting on one of the ladies because he was asking her, you know, what does she rate herself? Mm-hmm. And um, I ended up checking out his earlier videos. And a lot of his videos, to me, <clears throat> were him just showing men how to dress, how to yep. smell good. Right. He you know, had he a lot kinda, of... I had watched some stuff early, like his earlier stuff. He, it was a lot of empowering stuff. Yeah. It was actually uplifting mm-hmm. stuff. Showing so you how like, to like dress and smell and all that he, when you he, want to talk to him. He woman. ended up in that other lane, I think, because more and more people start calling up after and he they started kept saying calling. controversial things. So he was like, I'm just going to tell you how I feel. And y'all knew y'all, what he was about and y'all kept and, calling. And the fact that, you know, people took so much, like his words meant so much to y'all and they just kept calling back mm-hmm. and back like he was just like whatever i'm gonna keep answering yeah. how i feel is right yeah. mm-hmm. and if you feel like my word is this strong then cool more power to you yeah. uh and so all he did was build build and build off of it like yeah. y'all paid the man technically that became mm-hmm. his niche <laughs> you basically paid yep. the that man. became his niche and you know of course controversy uh good or bad going viral you still can make some money off of it, whether it's good exactly. Or yeah, and then the, um to to backdoor off of what you were saying about humanity in general, it's just like we're so desensitized to death because yeah. of all the videos of death that we've been right. seeing in general, mm-hmm. like from the cop killings, the people dying yeah. from all kinds of stuff, just random videos that can just get posted anywhere. So yeah. it's like people are desensitized to it, and they just like, all right, he died, cool. Like that, it's not cool. It's death yeah. at For all. Really, it's, <laughs> Death. This, this man was young. still young. He was what, 53 or 56, 56, I think. 56. Even so, he was in his 50s, bro. And he, he, he died. And I mean, bro, just to realize, right. like, man, again, if you didn't agree with what he said, bro, that's that's mm-hmm. one thing, bro. Like, mm-hmm. again, he was getting on a lot of dudes, bro. I, yeah. A lot of dudes, man. A lot of the videos of the dudes clips, it's just those weren't going viral because dudes wasn't like, man, yep. why are you going to tell me my meat ain't big? And the same women, y'all laughed at them, man. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. y'all got in y'all feelings when he went to the, on the females. And, and so, you can't yep. agree with everything he said, bro. Mm-hmm. Just like anyone. Yeah, I don't nah. agree with I don't agree with all Democrat shit. Yep. Nah. You want to talk? You want to no, be that's real? That's a whole nother part. No, I'm just exactly. I'm just saying because I'm with you on that. People, like, yeah. you know, I be look, looking at a lot of things from a Republican standpoint, and I look at a lot of things from a Democratic standpoint. For sure, like I'm not just in a liberal. Like it's I mm-hmm. feel like if you're just all one way, you're bullshitting because mm-hmm. I mean, there's no way you can just be all for one. You nah, have to real. see the the good and everything and the bad and everything too. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just like with him, bro, if I didn't like something he said, I just, you know, breezed over. Just like somebody on Instagram, bro. If I don't like something you're doing, I, I was just telling somebody about that. Like, bro, damn, all I see is this person doing this. I can actually choose to either mute or see less than this this mm-hmm. amount of stuff on my page. I don't have to comment on it. I don't have to be hateful, spiteful. Yeah, I usually just click unfollow. There you Easy, go. Simple as that. <laughs> and guess what? It's yep. not in your world no more. It doesn't yep. exist to you no more. Get out nah, of here. Bam, there you it's go. It's gone. But people really here. go out their way to be very, very disheartening. Yep. And, um, you know, just t- it's just so evil, bro. It's an evil. It's, yep. I just want people to understand, bro. The, the spirits nowadays is, is, is not good, bro. It's, it's, not, it's, yeah, man. it's bad war, you know, evil war path of spirits. <laughs> and people not even opening their eyes up to see that, bro. Somebody died, and the first yep. thing you said, my mom used to always tell me, if I ain't had nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Exactly. There you go. So yeah. if I was beefing with somebody and they died, 
I'm like, damn, I'm still gonna feel some type of way, bro. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, this person don't, he ain't here no more. Right. Yep. So as long as you can get it right, yep. This person is no mm-hmm. longer here to get he whatever get that situation chance. right. He don't get that chance and that opportunity. So it's like I'm still gonna feel some type of way, even if I was had an issue. Actually, I probably feel worse. Right. Because yep. I feel like, damn, I was beefing with somebody who passed away, bro. Ooh, like, why couldn't I have gotten that together, bro? Now this person no longer here. It's crazy. Uh, did y'all hear that uh, Derek Jackson, apparently he said that black women had the right to be happy over Kevin Samuels' death. Wait, is that the Yes, guy? the guy that cheated on his wife, his black queen, last year, multiple times, you know. He yeah. said women have the right. He says women have the right to be That man just trying to get back in the good graces of the women. Kevin Samuels' uh, death. <laughs> he just trying to get back like, in the good graces yeah, of the women. Shut your ass. You can, you can exactly. go ahead and wipe that out the way. Get out the yeah, way. Yeah. Stop talking. Like, <laughs> if we want to be honest, bro. At the end of the day, you hear worse from your own family. You hear hurt worse from your own friends. Hell, yep. they'll talk about you behind your back. Like I said earlier, you hear worse from yeah, your own family. That's why they stay music. on the internet, because they trying to avoid their family. They're trying to avoid that constructive criticism. Because if you have real friends, they're going to tell you when you're messing up. And a lot of times, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be all sugary nope. and, and nice. It's going to be, hey, you BSing. Hey, you, like, what are you doing? Like, get your life together. Like, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yep. need that. You feel me? And we we gotten so sensitive now where people can't even tell you where you're messing up. Like, some women are like, oh, he was disrespecting women, calling them fat, boom, 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 boom. Like, you ain't call someone else fat. Like, mm-mm, girl, why she got that on? She knows she can't wear that. Bruh, don't. Oh, man. don't let, let, come on now. Let, let, Lizzo, <laughs> be the same. Let, let Lizzo post something or Coy Yep. Either it, one too small or one too big. Mm, or like, she doing too much. Or so, she doing not doing exactly. that. Where's that same energy for your homegirls or your, you know, your friends? Or when y'all making fun of a black woman, where, where's that same energy? Remember the whole Gabby Douglas situation? When uh, her uh-huh. hair didn't look a certain yeah. way, it was like all y'all bashed that up. little girl, bro. When, when, y'all remember went that, in, when she danced, when yep. she danced, y'all went in. But at the same time, it's y'all get a pass for that because you know that Dougie was not, but still other stuff. That Dougie yeah. was funny as hell. It was funny, but you know <laughs> nothing personal. But it yeah. was you know, but but she was having fun. So she was I enjoyed ha- exactly. It. But hell, see, the point that we she, come from in the box, she got, we come from it from a joking standpoint. I was just telling Nisha this earlier, man, like. I, I'm not gonna say this exact thing because I don't know if this person watches the pod. But mm-hmm. uh-uh. it was, <laughs> I was at a drive-through, and the sexuality of a person in the drive-through, I didn't know what it was. And it'd be like that. And but it was we. I made a joke, and they laughed, and it was like a cool like back and forth. And I was telling my wife, I'm like, bro, you see, like, you don't have to agree mm-hmm. with somebody's nope. lifestyle or have to understand it, but. All you know is that we're human, yep. and I just want to show love yep. and spread that, t- and not just to be saying that quote, but I mean, dude, when you just speak off of love and your energy is love, you don't have to understand somebody's, you know, background or something. Like, if you don't know them, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not saying, like, oh, I don't want to get to not understand, but what I'm saying is if it's just a quick, you know, walk by, if I smile and wave or say something, hello, bro, it doesn't matter what you look like, what your sexuality is, what, what transformations yep. you make, that has nothing to do with me. In mm-hmm. my personal life, so mm-hmm. what hate do I need to have towards you? Right. Yeah. Man. You're like, going it, through you your know, journey. I'm going through mine. And at the end of the day, bro, we all human, bro. We all <laughs> going through our journey, like Steve said, bro. It should be a point to where, hey, what you got going on is what you got going on. I can laugh at you if I want to. Yeah. We can make jokes about each other. Yeah. Like it, I don't see why anything is wrong with that. I mean, some things, I guess, are, you know, of course, it's not to be made jokes of but I depending like, on the people yeah depending on the people but I feel like you know laughter makes the heart grow fonder and it's like you don't have to necessarily be so serious about all the situations if more people yeah. wouldn't be so stuck up about certain things people probably don't even give a damn half these dudes don't even care about the trans community to be honest with you mm-hmm. like a uh, natural dude when we kicking it we not in there telling some man I'm trans bro I swear mm-hmm. bro exactly. nobody not at all nobody does that <laughs> them gays, them straights, them them, them feminists, gays, not them, them feminists. Gays. I mean, nobody does that. Like we don't <laughs> sit around talking hate speech on anyone. Nope. Yeah. You know them blacks. I do talk right. about my people, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. To I get on my people's ass, but that's because I'm in that community. I'm in the black community. Yeah, I know exactly. We could do a lot better. 
you know, but yeah. I love my community because my community is very strong. We've been through a lot, um, but it just, you know, needless to say, it doesn't matter what background, what national, none of that matters, bro. We're all human. We, sh we should all be spreading love towards one another, man. And we all trying to get it right because I don't, I have never met a perfect person. No you such thing. Have y'all? Damn, nope. what are you at? I've, I've never yeah. met a perfect person. And in the Bible, it says we're all striving to be perfect, but we'll never get there. We'll never be perfect. We'll never be just spotless. Real. There's a thought that you have that's that's a sin. There's an action. There's a there's a way you just said something. There's a there's a something you didn't do. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of things, bro. So at the end of the day, bro, we're all trying to get it together. I wish people wouldn't have you know, handled that situation like that with this man passing away. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, it just shows you where we are in this world. But I want people to understand just as much like Vivica said, that's a karma that he has, it's a karma that you have from saying that. Exactly. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because something may come back onto you for making a comment like that. And karma is real. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know definitely real. God don't sleep. So the things we say, you know what I'm saying, it, it definitely you have to be careful because we have to account for everything that come out of our mouth. Facts, yep. facts, facts. Well, Let's get into the next one, the Tory. Is this not so serious no more? Are we going to calm down? Uh, well, it's still kind of Nah, we're going to be on a high level all. You know, <laughs> it's, it's it's are we pot? Because I'm ready to pot. We, we, we pot. I'm ready to Because, I mean, I, I, not, I forgot to mention time. that, but I heard Tory. I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we, we, gonna we ain't missing nothing today, no, bro. We ain't. So, uh, apparently. And we got them angles. <laughs> apparently, mm. uh, a, a doctor that worked, treated uh, Megan mm. for her injury, apparently they not came the, out. Mm. There's a document saying that she got treated for a uh, a glass fragment. Oh. A portion of, of the official police, uh, police report from Meg and Tori's situation reveals that Dr. Laparedo treated Begin for a, lac a laceration to her left foot. It also states that the same doctor confirmed it was due to stepping on glass. Mm. That mm -mm. just hit the internet and... It's crazy. It's, it's this is one of the craziest situation cases we've ever probably seen in hip hop That's in quite some time, bro. Me, yeah. me being over with this situation is is, is, it's is just, an understatement. Cause it's one of these things where it's like it's not ending. It's it's not looking too good. Yep. They and got a hashtag so Meg trending on Twitter. Oh my, yeah, it's mm. it's not looking too what? good now. <laughs> not really a surprise Carlos. there. Um, I think. My only thing is, how was the glass on the ground, or where did the glass come from? Right. Um, no. Well, the thing is this. I think it's what we've always said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the gun probably went off. Mm -hmm. But remember what we said before? Intentions. Yep. Mm -hmm. Was somebody yeah. intentionally trying to shoot you, or did the bullet ricochet hit some exactly. glass, and then it, you know, it sparked, you know, ricocheted mm -hmm. into your foot? Like they said they found four she, bullet shells. She probably like, <laughs> got scared. He, she she stepped on glass and oh, she was like, I got shot. I mean, she initially said she stepped on glass. Bro, I remember yeah. when it was breaking news that they got arrested or whatnot. They were saying Megan is injured for apparently a, a womb on her foot due, due to glass. But then like 30 minutes later, it were, they oh, like it was the narrative got switched up. Oh, she got apparently got shot. Yeah, it it's, changed it's the whole the, narrative. It's but. so intention, bro. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not for nobody shooting nobody. And again, exactly. like I said, I wasn't there in the situation, so I can't mm -hmm. go hardcore on either Neither side. Neither would a lot of you uh, detectives that yeah. swear I'm not Tory no killed a detective or but, shot her. Sorry. But I will say, <clears throat> if somebody intentionally tried to harm you, I don't think you would have been protecting them. Or, nor would I would have advised you to protect no. them. Yeah. Like, I think about my daughter in that situation. Like, if mm -hmm. you out hanging with some friends and a nigga really tried to shoot you, I don't give a damn who got killed. Just yeah. that week. Nah, man. You could have been on that list. Mm -hmm. So you let the officials know. You let whoever needs to know that this person was trying to harm you and endanger you and all that and whatnot. Yep. Um, I get what she was trying to do with that narrative. And it just seemed like she got a hell of a team around her. That's, mm -hmm. you know, a narrative spinning team. But it's just one of them situations where it's, it's kind of tough, you know, because looking real iffy. When I'm, if I'm, I've been lit before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's been times where I'm like, Brandon, what happened? Because I'll be like, have we all have a different nah, story. Just, yeah, I know, right? Mm. Back, in, back in the day. But nah, yeah. we'll all have a different perspective of what happened. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll know, like, I know certain events make us sober up. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't have some situations happen. But yeah. at the end of the day, we'll all have our perspective of what happened. And a lot of times you got to kind of re recollect and then regroup and be like, damn, wait. But you'll know if somebody was really trying to shoot you or not. Yeah. So, I, it just it just seemed like you know it, this isn't looking good though it's it's not it's um, really not because they've really torn Tory down like they stripped him of all of his um, endorsements when this happened yeah, a whole lot of stuff I mean, what happens, Tories, yeah and they'll still bro I seen somebody tweet 
Uh, that's okay. Nah, this this man desperate. Tory hired a doctor to put out this statement. Bro, yeah. like, come that's, on, that's how you point. know. That's how you know Megan fans getting desperate because yeah. yeah, they just yeah. starting to make up all kinds of stories. Now, I think like, right, I think man. what really sealed it for me is that the fact that Tory is still allowed to come and party with a lot of Houston high rollers, bro. Like that's what really I'm like, bro. You just a few weeks ago, Tory was out in Houston, partying, mm-hmm. living yeah, up like bro. nothing happened. Yep. And I'm like, huh, one. bro, you would think <laughs> it's the fact that you would think he'll, he'll, he'll have a no fly zone in Houston. So Meg. So <laughs> that is there you go, exactly. Meg. Everybody's so Meg. It's because the narratives kept changing so many times to the point yeah. to where you're just like, is any of this even true? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not, it's one of those things where I can't see Tory <laughs> just spending his money and time. Hey, I want you to. You know, do all this extra stuff. I mean, he could have been did that mm-hmm. from the jump if that's what he wanted to do. But exactly. at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, man, this her story is constantly not adding up. It's just looking and, worse and know, worse. It, yeah. it doesn't look good. And the real question that I want to have for <laughs> for women and her fans, you know, if it comes out to be that she lied, if or, if, 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 if we're just saying, if, say if it if. comes out to be, because I think we all agree, if it comes out that Tori did it for real, then all right, well, we can't rock with him. Like that's not what's up. Yeah. We just can't rock with that. That's fine. But if it comes out that she lied, and it's potentially damn near ruined like a substantial part of his career, because best believe whether if she whether he's innocent or not, this will always stay with him. Yep. Oh, no yeah. matter even if domestic say, mm-hmm. anything yep. versus the woman, it never never works out well for the male. No, nah, he this will always stay with him, even if he's proven innocent. I want to know all those same people going to have that same energy for her because it's like y'all got to look at it and her perspective on why she lied about the. I don't want to nah, get that shit. Nope. I do not. Lied, do not come out up. with no excuse for everybody grown in that situation. If she lied, she lied, and that's for all on her. Yep. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. So, so I'm that's just, all I'm saying is. We we get into this. People don't keep the same energy. Women, men, they don't keep nope. the same energy. It's oh well, uh, this is I like this person, so you know this is what it is. But if the person you like doing something wrong and they get caught doing something wrong, you try to justify it. No, no, nope. keep the same energy nope. y'all have for Tori. Keep that same energy for Meg, because nope. once again, she is messing up his livelihood. She has, which is yeah, yeah. all the things that she's done, the recent interview, her coming out on live saying, you shot me, all this other stuff. And Tory hadn't really been able to truly defend himself. So he's just been getting slaughtered. I yeah, mean, what is it, a, a gag order or something yeah, like that? Right? Yep. Yeah, got a gag order. Yeah, yeah. He can't say a Meanwhile, word. she can say whatever she yeah, wants, and, and he can't say You know, anything. and this is what somebody said. I'm like, bro, this, this, this goes to show, like, both of these people, bro, they have never experienced something like this. But regardless of the situation, <laughs> Megan shouldn't have said a word at all. Like, even if, you know, you have the gag order or not, like, yeah. the fact that you talking regardless will eventually mess you up in the long run. And I'm like, that's the case right here. And while Dub is going through these old ass <sighs> we gonna thugger photos. Yeah. And <laughs> we're going to yeah. get into This that, is man. real? I wouldn't be surprised. If it it's, probably is. I don't yeah. even know. This was back. <laughs> yeah. Now, that, that leopard thing is real. Yeah. But, yeah. So, hey man, I can't uh, wait to we tell will y'all see. About this shit I just seen. We we will see how things pan exactly. out. Of course, when the court day happen, but it seems like we get more information before they uh, they mm-hmm. even go to trial. So I don't know. We'll see what happens on that whole situation. Time will tell. Time will tell. She did a whole uh, Gail King interview. Yes. And I, what 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 did what did Lil Duvall say about her going to Gail King for these interviews? Look, y'all gonna learn. Yep. Yep. All right, so we got to get into uh, some NBA young boy. Uh, make no sense. This guy. Yeah. This guy <laughs> here. All right, so. You know we weren't about to let this slide. Uh, no, nope, uh, you can't. He uh, made a post because he's, he's having some issues with Atlantic. He's trying to get out of contract with Atlantic, so he's having some real issues with them. He made a post, NBA young boy tells YouTubers uh, he's banning his music from being used in reaction videos. Get a job. Atlantic, mm. ban my music from all mm. YouTubers. Get a real job. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. I don't like neither. Uh, I don't like uh, I don't like you neither. Wait on my funeral. And then uh, I guess he got some recordings. Uh, academics have posted it. He had recorded, <coughs> uh, did some voice recordings. He was like, everything y'all post, Atlantic tried to make it seem like I'm talking about them so they can try to sue me once the time's up, he said in, uh, in a voice note. So basically saying when they react, 
or whatnot. So they be doing the home. analyzing and like, oh, he's sending shots at Atlantic, and that's why he's like, he wants them to ban his music. He's saying that people that do reactions, they be like trying to dive deep into what the video and the song is about. Mm-hmm. So they'll be like, oh, maybe, oh, he's sending shots at Atlantic Record, blah, 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 blah. And he doesn't like that. Go water. He's basically like, oh, well, if you're saying that, and once my stuff, once my contract is up with them, they can try to sue me because, you know, I'm try to defame them or whatever situation. What the and, hell? And um, he basically, on, on the recordings, he continued to say, man, tell them people to suck my dick Leave me alone, bitch. Ain't nobody talking uh, talking about y'all. I hate y'all, bitches. I hate y'all more than y'all hate me. Leave me alone. That's a and young boy for you. Here's the thing Stop. about this whole situation with the narrative. <clears throat> so and this, this affects us Indeed. because we do YouTube. Um, when people hit that narrative of, oh, being a YouTuber ain't a real job, I would have thought, by 2020, where a lot of people couldn't do concerts, couldn't do this, couldn't do that, yep. and then people started coming to YouTube, I would have thought that narrative would have died down significantly once they saw, oh, wait, this is a real thing. People make real money from this. This is a real <laughs> job. And when I hear that narrative, especially in a situation where I don't even think he clearly understands that, one, when people react to his music, or well, music in general, unless the label hits you up, and say they'll either whitelist your video or they'll send you some money to react to a certain artist. Wait, you don't get yeah. paid. You're not getting paid for that. And I'm nope. telling you this now. We've been doing this for years. We have, I think, our biggest video, uh, most views, Kill Shot. We don't get a dime off that. Nah. We never yeah, got copyright. a dime off that. Yeah. You want to know why? Because UMG and all these other labels, they own it. So when exactly. someone says that, they're naive to the situation. They don't even know. Most people that do music reactions, you don't get paid off that. And that's what I was saying. I was then like, on top of that, most of his views is on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. And you are the number they, one streamer on count, YouTube because they of that. those streams as streams now. Yep. Yeah. Bruh, like... And if anything... What? Basically biting the hand that feeds you when you said that comment. Exactly. Yeah. Which I'm like, okay, <laughs> young, young, young boy. Is, like, the crazy thing is you get a, uh, views from your actual video that you put out. And right. then when people react to it, no matter how many views they get, you still swipe the revenue from theirs. Yeah, you get mm-hmm. UMG is collecting all yes. the revenue from every reaction. No matter how much you you're cut getting paid off of this edit stuff. The video. You, you don't want well, them to react to this stuff. Well, I don't think he probably getting paid. I think but the you know, you getting paid off of stuff. He exposure. Getting, yeah, he getting paid yeah. off. You the getting exposure. paid off yeah. of it at the yeah. end yeah. of the day. Yeah, because a lot of people <laughs> like his music and check out his stuff and react yep. to it. And when you do that, it comes off as like. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You beefing with Atlantic, but damn, Don't come these are everybody your supporters. Else. Like, they burn all the bridges. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, they people, support People you. checking you out without even getting paid. Yeah. But you know what? Hey, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, homie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never see another young boy reaction. That's what I'm saying, time. bro. We rarely even do that yeah. young boy reactions. Like, I'm, I'm going to just keep it simple. No. Like, yeah. I ain't, I ain't got to beef. I don't got to go back and forth with you. Yep. Mm-hmm. We don't even got to make this segment an hour because it's I, I want to get some more interesting yeah. shit. Like, young boy say don't react. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah. You know who ain't gonna lose no sleep? We ain't. And exactly. I hope other like, YouTubers that see this understands that and, and stay true, you know, bro. stand strong with that as well. Because yep. like, bro, at the end of the day, this is our job. When the IRS come knocking, mm-hmm. they they be looking like, oh, this is a nice job you have here. Even when oh, you up. make money on the okay, yeah, yeah, run it. Even if you take right. that away, the amount of time and energy people put into their channels or whatnot, that is a job. It's they a they wake up YouTube. They go to sleep. YouTube. It's like mm-hmm. doing your own TV. You network, making it bro. seem like everybody just get on YouTube and immediately become uh, famous and make money off. Oh, exactly. Like, no. It's just so easy. It's not. It's not crazy. Editing. Oh, don't get me started on it. It takes years of so. understanding and then trying to take these talents into things outside of YouTube. Yeah, yep. bro. Like you trying to. We're trying to create jobs for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, mm-hmm. and it's hey. like it's so easy for somebody to say some shit. You don't have a real job when you think about it. All you nope. do is make music. Like I'm. That's and I'm not even belittling it, right? Because mm-hmm, it's a mm-hmm. lot to go into music, right? Yeah. But if, what if somebody tell you, what if Elon Musk say get a real job? Yeah. Because what you make is not even a piece of lint yeah. on his clothes. But it's like, of course, niggas gonna always try to. Every time you give niggas a little bit of something, they act like they got the most of everything. Yep. Like you, you yep. flexing on other people because you're a part of a one percent and because you're doing music. But in actuality, you're not even a part of the real group of people who really make money. 
Mm-hmm. You want to be honest, And them bro. niggas be quiet about that shit. They don't even move loud like half nope. these niggas that got a little money. Oh, I'll get 100 bands a show. Yeah. Okay, nigga, it's a nigga that made 100 bands every few seconds. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you want to be honest, it's that some big of your favorite right uh, YouTubers make more than the rappers. Uh, bro, the, yep. uh, this I, know last kid, year. I know a kid that make more than uh, rappers. Yep. Yeah, we all know a kid. Mm-hmm. I remember, uh, I think last year, there was like a poll at like, uh, a certain school that said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And like mo- majority of them, they said a YouTuber. Yeah. Before that, it was like a rapper. Now being a YouTuber is like one of the major things. First of all, being a rapper is nothing. But I mean, at one point, being a rapper wasn't even cool. Now rappers trying to be gangsters. Mm-hmm. That's why all these rappers is getting caught up. Oh, we you give me a million segue. You, you might not get hit with the Rico. Do, 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 do. Give me six figures a, a, a do, show or do, whatever do, a feature. Do, do. I ain't do, got do. nothing to do with no gang shit no more. If I was a part of that, but yeah, the like pandemic that. exposed a lot me. of artists. Don't even come around me with no yep. shit like that. Damn, give me some fried alligator with the they Calamari. couldn't go Boy, on tours. They couldn't <laughs> perform <laughs> on the crowd and stuff, and they were hurting. Oh, niggas was hurting. And you know what those rappers were doing? They started YouTube channels. Oh, I've just like the big it. actors and stuff in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, they boy. started YouTube channels. These celebrities you thought that had it during the pandemic. Guess what they did? They started a YouTube channel. Yeah, they were doing yeah. commercials. They were doing and during the, the, the time period we talked about this topic, there's major record labels DMing us and other YouTubers about, hey, we got a new artist. Can you please react to his mm-hmm. music? So, but once again, young boy, get your mind right. Hey man, so. yeah, <laughs> big facts. But since we since we already in this bag, you already yeah. know. You see the title of the episode: <laughs> Pushing Prison, Pushing Prison, Pushing Prison. Uh, Steady trying to find a motive. <laughs> so this has been the big <laughs> topic. This is probably the biggest thing that's happened so yes. far this the past year. two days. Uh, <laughs> Young Thug and several others, part of his YSL crew slash label mm. uh they were all arrested uh, i want to say a few all days but all but gonna at the time gonna yeah. gonna turn himself in yeah, yeah gonna turn himself in all gonna. under rico charges man and oh, it's boy, not boy, boy, looking boy. good i believe they denied young thug bail so he's not getting out and uh, i think the potential uh sentences if he's convicted it's like life life in prison and it's one of those things where it's like I'll say this. You got to be careful once you start making money because that's when you get more attention mm-hmm. and more eyes on you. People be thinking that people not checking, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing, especially when you mm-hmm. post it on social media yep. and if, especially when you're as big as he was starting to get as a musician, as an artist. And he was, you know, like making his own label. So. Yeah, he made his own label, but... People have been watching, and apparently, uh, he's one of the uh, he's one of the, uh, the original people. The leaders, that, yeah, that made YSL. Yep, and yep. of course, he turned it into a label. But they've been watching him apparently since around 2015. Man, oh, that's a man. Bro. I've when seen it, yeah, some cases they said like 2012. Well. Whenever like, you see yeah. the words Rico next to somebody's name, just know they have been watching you for months years to so. possibly years. Like this is not. Whenever you see a Rico charge, that's big. That's big deals. Okay. Like, that's that's bro, huge. I mean, I'm, they, I don't, uh, apparently, there's a uh, 88 is, page indictment. Damn. Yep. They literally list everything affiliated yeah. with it. They list the uh the members. They list all kinds of stuff. That like, they've been knowing this crew every crazy. move for years. The indictment includes details from the 2015 murder of Donovan Thomas, mm-hmm. as well as the attempted murder of the ri- rival rapper YFN Lucci, who's also in pre- well in jail right now on another Rico charge. Yep. yep. Uh, alleged members of YSL I didn't gang know he was that in were incarcerated yep. with him. They're also trying to charge him with trying like trying get, for the second time, trying to get him killed because uh, YFN <clears throat> is in jail right now, mm-hmm. and apparently he, uh, I guess, sent out a hit to try to get him killed in jail. Yep. So and then there's screen like you know they boys be posting stuff on stories, which yeah, I don't know why, but he posted something on stories <laughs> when uh, apparently uh, YFN was at a mall and he saw his car, so he posted it. He was like, damn, that's a nice car. And then he posted another story saying, bro, I could have had you killed if I didn't like how you was, you know, providing. Boondocks, your, boondocks, boondocks. Your, uh, was ahead family, of its time. Like your mother and your fa- and your children. Right. I could have been had you killed. And he posted on his story. And not even he said it in an interview, not to cut you off, bro. Yeah. He let it was an interview and he said, bro, if, if, if you weren't doing all this for your kids and, and your yeah. mother, I would have been had you. And he's talking about, yeah, I'm talking about Lucci. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, and that was are thug. you serious? It was, yeah, thug. was thug. there's actual video of this. It was an yeah. interview. So I'm like, bro. It's one of those things where, you know, it's it's 
it's it's not looking too good. They so, attempted to stab him again in prison. Like yeah. he got, he, damn, it was two hits. Basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they also have uh, indictments on the Lil Wayne bus shooting. Yep. Yep. So like, man, he's oh, got, they just going down the rap. He's shit. got stuff on top. Then they got indictments for possession of marijuana, possession yep. of Weapons. control substances yeah. two, three, four, and five. Bro, I was like, dumb, bro, bro, he got a list. The Fulton of stuff. County District Attorney's Office accused members of YSL gang of creating havoc in Atlanta since 2015. And Engaging in repeated violent crimes, twenty-eight people, including Young Thug, were named in the indictment, which presents the, a timeline of events dating back to twenty fifteen. Wow, the dangerous thing is, are yeah. they putting them in the same prison as YFN? I, 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 I That's a good I question. Listen. Depending yeah. on what's going on, like how is this information coming out even more? Is YFN saying stuff about this? Yeah. If so, then is he getting put into a separate section because he's immediately in danger? If yeah, that's yeah. the case. Um, is everybody solid that's getting locked up right now? Are they going to add more information? Are we going to find out more soon? Because a lot of people may not be solid. A lot of people may end up snitching oh, as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's going to be, oh, man, yeah. it's, it's about to get a, crazy. It's only been a few days since this happened. Like, and, then, uh, and you're getting more and more whistling. information. And then apparently on that, uh, another thing that linked to, to him whistling. is uh, uh, he had rented out a vehicle. And that, yeah, that from Hertz. particular <laughs> vehicle was used in the drive-by of killing um, uh, what's the dude name? Donovan. Donovan Thomas. Mm-hmm. But they also one of I guess one of the bullets ended up hitting a child. Now the child's alive, but still a oh, child got God, injured man. in the situation as Attempted well. Attempted murder. So yeah, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I I do listen to some of Young Thug's music. I can't listen to a whole album of him, mm-hmm. but he does have yeah, some say everybody some knows. some nice bangers. And oh nice, for sure, nice songs. And granted, right. some of the songs he definitely know how to make they, music. They're gonna try to use in court oh, some of the songs, uh, like some of the lyrics he's saying. What's well, not the band? Oh no no no, they are. Yeah, well, they've already uh, they already 100%. had hundred percent in, in that document. They already have certain quotes he oh, said and stuff. Yeah, I'm about to yeah. say. Yeah. What's the crazy thing is, bro? Every year, like these. These other rappers didn't learn from these past rappers that have gotten hit with recall charges they too. They think they'll never get caught. And I'm like, bro, you would think, okay, let me move different. Let me stir myself away from the situation because obviously they're cracking down on us bad. They're well, so confident after And the while. fact that they're using your lyrics, which I know a lot of people can argue, bro, that's not fair, which we get it, freedom of speech or whatnot. But, but when, when you're associated with a crew, not exactly you, you have a crew that's still doing that foul shit. That you probably have no i no even no idea, but you still associated with it. Snitching on yourself. There you go, you self snitching and stuff you, like that. Antics on social media, bro. I, I don't blame them for doing that, bro. Not y'all, even that. Not even y'all just that. Making it easy for them. We got people. It was people on social media I seen earlier today. It was like, how come they always do it against black people and rappers and blah blah blah? Because black people are the only dumb people, yeah. dumb enough to snitch on themselves bro, in I their see. songs. Like imagine. Imagine Boondocks uh, Literally yep. As a matter of fact Bobby Smurder just posted a video and It was him saying uh, He was freestyling He was like I just killed a dude last week And he said that In the freestyle And then See The that? guy was like We got it We got it We got it <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like now, you, would you would think that Yo You just got out of prison And stuff like that Damn well, I, I shouldn't about killing nothing Yeah Even though you Most likely probably didn't I shouldn't, I shouldn't move that way. Exactly. And I'm like, that's seven years, seven years, man. And that's the reason why rap is always the- Hip-hop police are real, and y'all just making it easy for them. Bro. Exactly. Did, did, like, what other genre? Did yep. Millionaire and Slick Rick not tell us something? Exactly. <laughs> There's so much drama in the industry. Yep. Hip-hop police are listening. Exactly. Bro. Be it's, careful or you'll be history. Mm-hmm. You just Looks don't like have that many other history. genres, it's man. It's murder. <laughs> hey, man. It's- if it's looking like so, boys about to be popping uh, plea deals and young yeah, thug you, left you and right not, pushing please, not, <laughs> pushing please. I don't know what's the title of the video no more, man. Please. Bro, they, damn, that's a good I'm one too. Bro, they pushing, pushing please. please. Like, like I please. said earlier, <laughs> like I said please. earlier, on Twitter do say gonna gonna be pushing D. <laughs> it's like damn, <laughs> wait, nah, why bro, they do that, man? That like me that. To this this uh, oh, six nine is apparently trolling young thug. And there you go once again. Of course. Um, and now we got this guy said, just <laughs> constantly doing this dumb shit. He said, "Now nah, bro can be himself," so he got pictures of Young Thug doing, you know, kissy faces. Hang on, I'm trying my I'm trying harder not to laugh because Six Nine saying this shit. But damn, I'm gonna be honest, bro. That shit is funny. It, it, but it's funny, but it's funny because it's coming from nothing. the biggest snitch of it all time. He don't learn nothing, bro. He still talk. I would not be. Having an opinion, he plays on with death. Well, there, there's, he there's, does. he plays with it. He plays yeah. with death, bro. Because exactly. if a nigga ain't got nothing to lose, if a nigga know he already going for life, he don't mind taking yours too. Yep. Exactly. 
this and the fact that, that there's once again video of young thug said on his Instagram he said bro if I ever got to sit in prison something like do 25 years because one of my partners man they get to go, go get live freely t- with their family I buy some titties bro you're gonna put me in a female prison bro yeah. I'm about to have fun I'm like wow that age like milk I'm like yep, man, the fact that you even uh, say something like that people are now uh, so, claiming that they're transgender so they might be able to do it there you go. Honest with you, should be able to it's not even gonna be 25 years they try and give him life but rico is like yeah like yeah bro. rico 25 yeah. to life like 25 like that's bro. the fears he, it's he not getting out anytime soon bro yeah like it's just oh man and young thug is a uh, good chance he's done no yeah. it's it's they say bro. possibly gonna may have some wiggle room to work it out because obviously he's just maybe. i think it's just one charge or something he's him being affiliated but apparently he had something to do with the shooting of a cop or maybe oh, somebody he knew geez, so bro. it's all about affiliation bro at a certain age you gotta ask him bro i gotta no. move different bro oh yeah i did see that the yeah i gotta move shooting. different that's right that's bro. right i'm trying to do right and yet i have a crew that ain't doing right like no i can't i can't if with y'all like that and supposedly little baby may be uh getting that strong too. in this too yep oh, when you're affiliated man. man that's when it gets there's a good chance 300 entertainment can either, can drop uh young thug i'm like yo we don't want, we don't want no part of this just like how when uh, I think Atlantic or I forgot what record label Bobby Schmurder was on, they dropped him. Mm-hmm. I think that same week like, now nah, uh, we, we can't do nothing for you. Young Thugs with 300 Entertainment. Yeah. Right? So, that, bro. I thought it was, yeah. If, I thought it was if, funny. If, so. if he is, if he is, you 300 right. Entertainment is clearly just bad vibes at this point. Exactly. Because, yeah. I mean, people are dying in there left and right, mm-hmm. and then you got jail. Like, yeah. there's no good end game in this. Like, I don't know if I would want to join. Damn, I'm trying to see bro. why everybody got Queen Naja name trending, saying that she gave up the names. What? Hmm? Queen wow. Naja. That's random as hell. Ain't she part of 300? Very random. Probably. I ain't At this even, point. Yeah, I ain't hear nothing about that. I don't know. After snitching on Young Thug and Gunner. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what? definitely somebody probably on the inside. Definitely yeah. probably. Oh, there's going to be. <laughs> in this whole oh operation. no 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 somebody assist they had a bro they had. They, a huge group like that so y'all y'all think you y'all real y'all ain't gonna sit, bro without that bro yeah. there's gonna be a wink leak in that entire crew uh, what y'all giving me 30 years nah fam what y'all want what imagine, y'all wanna know imagine if young whole, thug, uh it, table of del frisco's <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. bro imagine if young thug just did one person wrong in there some kind of way and he's just felt some type of way for a while and he was like yep. i'm taking these boys out like bro, how it always see, happens we was just talking about last week of, on, on his comments about men <laughs> if oh, you yeah. broke, see that's bro. goddamn it see and then unless <laughs> then seven days later this Bam. nigga may be locked up for life god damn and that's he got quick. kids he got plenty of kids plenty of yeah and we were just talking about um oh, man. we were just talking about you know, that same thing happened with Kevin Samuels was just in that life. Yeah, bro. Yeah, sure. in seven you days, bro. Mm-hmm. Your life instantly. Changed. And instantly. now exactly. he, he may be surfing in And jail. when his baby mama's got killed, like, what, last <laughs> no. month or so? <laughs> so? Yeah, I heard that as well. No. Yeah. Oh, not surfing. No. <laughs> sir, said? I sir. said he may be sir. surfing in jail. No. Oh, sir. Sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> surfing. <laughs> Yo, it's time to surf up some of that soap, homeboy. <laughs> Not the soap. Now you ain't wash your ears, man. I seen that little skirt you was wearing. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, don't act hard now. Oh, you right where you belong, man. <laughs> no, it ain't no kilt. Come on, thuggy. Yeah, <laughs> come on, come on with it. <laughs> Not thuggy. Let me stop, man. Let me. Shit, Let didn't these somebody men say make it's time it, for Rich Homie Quan to come back? Oh, Bro, yeah, someone they said, said it's your I time know to shine. I don't know where Rich Homie but what is he doing right now? They said it's your time to shine. <laughs> Because apparently he was cool. Because everybody gone with Luke with uh right. YFN Lucci and and uh Thug at so. one point. Because he was, but a then guy. he had no choice but to choose sides. He was a guy at one point, but yeah. Apparently, uh, academic just reported Casanova pleads guilty on racketeering and drug charges. And I just and didn't he's I just facing talk about between five and what sixty the years in prison. Fuck? Five to Shit. sixty. I just said before the pod sort of like, bro, they got Casanova last year, and he don't even know he's gonna come out. And now he just pleaded so guilty. So he pleaded guilty. Well, because I'm sure they have open they have, home and evidence. Once again, they were watching him for years. Uh, uh, man, racketeering. Damn. If you hear racketeering, yeah. uh, Rico. Some, somebody uh, pleading, bro. <laughs> You, bro, you please criminal please. organization exactly any of that. And you know what he was doing in prison? <laughs> he was complaining like, bro, the niggas that I saw had my back. They ain't even they ain't even fucking with me right now. Mm-hmm. So damn, he said in, in in the prison walls, bro, don't even mess with this street shit because it ain't worth it. Your boys you claim that you know they loyal to you. They not gonna be loyal to you exactly. Bro. So he five to sixty. Don't learn that and shit. that's <clears throat> sixty years, man. That's. Because it's one of those things where they they lay everything out for you. Like this, we have this. We go to the court, 
It's rap for you. They was just stacking yeah. stuff up. That's what they do. They just yeah. stack it up yeah, on you. They don't, like, just, they don't want to just get you on one year, two exactly. years. Because you can bail out of that real quick. Yep. They want to get you out of it. They're like, nah, let's lock him up. Damn. They, yeah. they hit him with that James. See, like they said, only people that can get out of it is James St. Patrick off the uh, right. out of power. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Because them boys, they stack on stack on stack. They, they trying to stack crimes on top of crimes on top of crimes. Come on, look vicious. <laughs> But yeah. I tell on somebody right now. Yeah, no. it's not You're looking. Stupid, dog. T- it's not looking yeah. too. Oh, don't good. keep strolling for the uh, the baby, because God, Lord, please don't let no shit happen with him. No, no yeah, just let him chill every week. Yeah. It's, well, apparently, uh, yeah. Danny Lay uh, did a yeah. Inter- he was just telling me about yeah, that yesterday. Did an interview oh, the other day oh. talking about the whole situation oh, and, and how she wasn't a side piece and all this other stuff. And then the baby had responded on Instagram. <clears> he was like, you know, at and you know what I'm saying? They had their own little situation. But he was like, yo, I had to end it when you started stalking my baby moms, all this other stuff. Wow. And they basically was going back and forth. Uh, well, she she wasn't. Because she's dropping a song that kind of talks about that. So she did the interview. And I believe she's dropping a song this week. So he was like, yeah, that, that's good promo. Good. Nice little setup. But I think you waited a little bit too. <laughs> I think you waited a little too long for the promo rollout or whatnot. Because it's like. You know what I'm saying? Like, the situation, it is what it is. Or when I basically, yep. maybe, like, I, I really don't give a fuck. And then you say something about the the weekend that we beat your brother up. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he said the Wait, weekend. he said what? Well, you know. Oh, I don't know it word for word, but I think the weekend we, uh, he uh, beat your brother up, you was, uh, I forgot what she Exactly what he said. I can find it. Basically, him and her had linked up. I think. Yeah, I think they had linked up the week. That's a damn shame. That he uh, gave, really gave her uh, her brother the beats on the bowling alley. They linked. What kind of back? Wait, this is before or after he got his ass handed to him. It don't even matter. It, exactly. don't matter. it doesn't. It was, matter. Exactly. It was beefing that whole time. Nah, uh-huh. They were. He was. He was coming to. Yeah, here you are trying to defend, defend your sister, sister. and yeah, you got your. Was, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we, you cut off. I'm with like, both of y'all. Asses. Hey, you damn right. You can you fight your sister? You can fight your sister, right? It's all right. <laughs> that's like the one woman you can hit, right? I don't. That's think the one so. woman you can. You don't no. think so? No. Uh, to well, a, to an extent. extent. Oh, I get into it, my sister. Not now, but when <laughs> yeah. I was young. I don't know oh, about, that was when you. Yeah. I don't know about throwing fisticuffs. I don't, I don't know at that age. That's your one. Not not older, but I'm saying younger. Right. That's the one female that you probably can throw with. I don't know if I'm gonna. I mean, Should there be a sibling? I mean, I watch sibling my cousins do it all. The time. Sibling pass would be fine. Okay. Nice if, you, if you grew up in my household, you would be fighting too because I I got b- wounded many a time. Oh yeah, so you you were the younger one. And I was so, the yeah. youngest, so. so. I th- yeah, in your in your case, I feel like it should be a yeah, yeah. We can box. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, we can box. Yep. Yeah, yes, woman. indeed, we can. Kevin Samuels, they woman beaters. That's why he saying R.I.P. to no, Kevin we're not, Samuels. We're not woman beaters. We're sister beaters. Yeah. <laughs> You're the she problem with society. She's not a woman. This is a not serious woman. She's thing. Not a woman. She's my sister. Right. You guys are awful. <laughs> you know how no boy. Look at it, you know, his sister's just a sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it as anything else. You're not a woman. You're not nothing. You're my sister. <laughs> you're That's not it. nothing. You're my sister. So we can throw these hands. You get these equal to opportunity hands. Yeah. I, equal opportunity. I've heard, you know, very respectable men and stuff that treat women right have called their sisters bitches and that's been the <laughs> only time well i never did that. they've yeah. called yeah like when we were younger i'm like damn that's that so, i remember i don't think no nah, nah, i some well yeah yeah, yeah exactly because yeah, you that. probably didn't curse like that and stuff but so oh, I cursed okay okay well you did. <laughs> i think every, every 90s baby curse we just didn't do it we didn't get caught like that, you know we well, we got to get into this one. You can't uh, run past the sister for you. Uh, That's because you don't have a sister. You're the only child. So yeah, you Ross, yeah. you look like You don't understand, to, yeah. like, you know, you got something and your sister just go in there and probably mess up your shoes or wear your shoes. Boy, you got me. All right, like I said, you just a, got your favorite sixes a, and she went in there and, like, kind of scribbled on them because she was pissed off. A, a swift yeah. pillow will do one thing. Ross is give me, you give me shaker vibes. Like, you'll probably nah, shake the shit out of her. I ain't got to shake. You just you <laughs> with a <laughs> pillow, bro. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm going to get in trouble. Regardless, yeah. what I'm about to do is gonna send me to to the, the gulags. gulags. Yeah, I'm going oh, to the sure. gulags. Bro. My mom, yeah, get your head off your sister. Oh, yeah. Why would you do that? But mom, it's it's not even it's not even. Yeah, well, my, I already know. When my cousin and his sister used to fight, I would just move out the way because he was big. She was small, but she had the fastest hands I've probably seen in my lifetime. <laughs> like, I she used to bink, bink, bink him like thirty times before he would even like grab her. 
I was she like, damn, she's dangerous. And then she had rings on, so she hit him like five times. He tried to tackle her up against something. She'd still be hitting and him. And that's the thing. I got caught with the rings before, and I didn't have to go to school with scratches. Oh, yeah. Explaining, oh, oh, yeah. explaining that shit to the homies. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't remember that? My sister, mm-hmm. You'd be like, my sister beat my ass. Yeah, man, I went to school one time with a scratch because my sister hit me. Oh, See, those, that. That, those cousins was pretty much day. she was pretty much my sister but i never got in a fight with them so mm-hmm. but that was that was my cousin he was getting in fights with her oh, yeah. uh, i think they was, help you they help your hands like they oh for they sure give you the practice you i got in a fight with my own brother like my actual brother because i honestly <laughs> oh that that yeah, that that happens you haven't yeah. fought until you fought a girl because they they <laughs> they don't have any limits they don't they, they don't, don't care yeah. it's no type of form it's just chaos. It's just strength and chaos. Like yep. strength. Whatever it takes to take you down, they're gonna do it. That's why yep. it'd be very, very dangerous. hard to fight a gay dude. Yeah, they're dangerous. Because he he wouldn't have They got no limits. limits. They're yeah. gonna swing and everywhere. And he swing with the wrist open. Yep. Yeah. I'm, See, that's what they teach in self defense too. No don't give no fucks. No codes. No codes. Nut nut kicking yeah. immediately. Like that's like cold in, in self defense. Nut kick, throat punch, mm. anything that's lethal, do it. What they say about going that's for kneecaps? Kneecaps is kneecaps is also another. Ross. Ross is a dirty fighter though. He's been that way. What since we got him? Hey, if if it's a fight, it's a fight. It's a fight. They ain't no guy. When I was yeah, young, when we were younger, we when we were kids, younger, we, we're more cold, 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 like dependent at that point. We're like, no, 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 fight, no, no wrestling, no wrestling, no. Now, but, but when we was I younger, will wrestle your ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, now, now, I will kick, kick you in your balls. Because nowadays, niggas ain't trying to fight. Yeah, bro, exactly. Flexing. Too much energy, bro. Back in the day, Ross, you've always been a dirty fighter, bro. Hey, I want to see Ross fight. Bro, how I, how was Ross that I had to like, do what I had to do? I got to do what you got to do, bro. <laughs> that nigga I saw the, any, any object in here. I was just about to say that. Anything in here you see is going to be a weapon. Ooh. Ross understood the life code early <laughs> on. He <laughs> turned his lens into a, uh, uh, a deadly weapon, a bro. A deadly ass <laughs> weapon, bro. <laughs> Look, man, we... Especially now we getting older, bro. We ain't got time. Oh, we ain't got no time. I'm talking about with you young. What's your excuse when you're younger? Yeah, he keeps hey, flipping, I ain't got he time keeps flipping for that. the narrative to now. <laughs> right? <I ain't> got <laughs> time. That's why I said Ross was already on a saving his life mode yeah. well, since, since my... little. He's I like, I ain't dying here. Nah, this is a little person. Bro. Nah, man. We got to get to the nitty gritty. And then we do. I definitely was on some cold shit younger. We like, let's box. We get, we fall down on the ground. Everybody's pull, pulling you apart nah, so you can box. I try to do a wrestling move and it backfired on me. back on me. This nigga raw sneaking Don't turn your name. <laughs> you better name have Ross. some jets. Cause All right, gone. man. Bygones be bygones. You'll turn around. Whoop. <laughs> you better stay. All right, we cool. Head on the he turned around. Wow. Hey, man. What was that? <laughs> by no, any means. By any There's no referees out here. <laughs> I found a little brick on the ground. No DQ. I, <laughs> see, see, he says, there's there's no DQ out. in this match, no bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to take you out, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, oh man, let's get into the brick on the ground. (laughs) Let's get into the next topic, man. Apparently, Nike has some beef with the uh, Stock X, man. Take them down, damn it. Nike escalates Stock X. Get them fake ass shoes out of here. His site is selling fake shoes. So, uh, apparently, uh, uh, Stock X has been out here. Selling these these Wookies, whatever you want to call. This ain't not, this ain't nothing new, bro. Not, yeah. uh, StockX has been accused, and there's been proof they've been doing this for years. But four hundred dollars worth from Nike. Yeah, so I'm serious. No. Uh, so what does that what does that mean for the person who buys the shoe? Is there a good chance that your uh, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollar plus shoe that you spent your money on most likely could be a fake? So it people can talk fake. about you. I mean, what is it going on in the sneaker community, man? I want you to kind of dive on this for a second. Um, because I know there's a very big beef of, you know, wearing, you know, UAs. certain shoes. UAs and whatnot. And, and the, the real ones. And it's like, at the end of the day, Nike and them ain't really been catering to us as uh, and consumers anyway. See. So it's like, it's getting to a point to where it's not like saying it's okay to get the fakes. But it's like, why would it be Man, such a problem? Man, what's the word? It's easy like a, like to play devil's advocate like this. Like, yeah. Technically, you know, of course, having a fake, you know, from... Any any type of you know situation like that, I mean, you got a fake or frown yeah, upon yeah. or whatnot. But if you know, I mean, shit. Nowadays, you don't even have to be a sneakerhead. You just know, bro. Getting a pair of shoes, hell, goddamn Air Force One white on whites is, is damn near impossible to get at a store. Yeah, right now yes, they can yes, still blame yep. pandemic or whatnot. It's been over two years, but nowadays, bro, they're doing like the direct to consumer and this and that. It's just being impossible to where you have the resale market. It's just mm-hmm. constantly booming mm-hmm. over the most basic shoes. Of course, Jordans and like these special collabs, you know, 
Nike SBs or whatnot, always been, you know, up in high yeah. price value. I'm talking about these regular GR Jordans and either like these regular Nikes or Air Force One. It's just hard to get now, bro. You got boys selling Nike Air Force Ones for like $200, bro. Retail, mm-hmm. well, retail was $80, but yeah. the hype is Now, what did Nike do? They increased the prices up. I just bought some. Yep. Air regular, Force Ones? Yeah. Regular white Air Force I mean, Force regular price, price, but like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's... But so anyway, at this point, bro, people were just frustrated. And, you know, you got, you know, these bots, you know, you got these resellers, these people that have these plugs, bro. They just drive the market on shoes just high at a, at a high price. And now, of course, you got these other people either from Japan or wherever they're, you know, they've been made at. They're catching on to it like, hey, you know what? We're going to make a shoe just looks just the same as a retail pair, you know, of course, for a lower price. So mm-hmm. it's coming from the same type of factory or similar factory. And that's that's the thing, too, mm-hmm. because I was one of the ones I frowned upon fakes until I got one, you know, accidentally, you know, for my birthday. And I'm like, damn, this shoe look damn near real as, the, the you know, the the, the 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 actual real one. And I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. it's just crazy and stuff like that. But my issue is, and a lot of people's issue is, bro, don't pass on a fake shoe that, you know, you're selling for retail for maybe like 160 or something like that. To go buy mm-hmm. three, Getting four, it in, Yeah, you, you're putting that same shoe on StockX, which is killed label like a fake. You're selling it for maybe like, man, uh, fucking $500 plus. Dollars That's stuff. dirty. That's the mm-hmm. dirty, the big issue right mm-hmm. there. Now, so, if you were selling it, you know, for like the retail price and. Yeah, and you're selling like, hey, this is a replica, but, you know, look just as good, man. I sell it to, you know, for so-and-so. This is like, all right, cool bit. But that's just my biggest issue. And I feel like Nike, they've known about this for years. They've kind of half-assed it. They say, you know, they're doing this and that. But nowadays, you can't even go on Foot Locker or any of the Foot sites. And either on sneakers and stuff like that, you just still have a biggest issue. It's just hard to get just your regular GR, which is, of course, general release, mm-hmm. shoe and stuff. So Yeah, I'm, I'm, I kind of agree, bro. Like, I'm at a point now where I don't even give a damn no more. Yep. Hey, I, meets, bro. Um, Trust me. I'm it, 30 years old now. Yep. Ain't got um, time to be doing these damn raffles. If the shoes bro, are live, <laughs> and I'm, I'm a them. hard sneakerhead connoisseur. Not to cut you off, bro. That nah, is my damn. That is Rock one out. of my first love. You know, after you know, God and family. I'm at a point where I'm I don't care. I'm like, damn. You if you got a, hey, you want to get a rep? Damn, that shit looks just like a, a real one. Hey. Because not only, I mean, because you got to put it in perspective. It's yep. not because you just getting the shoe just to get it. It's exactly. because. All of the hoops and and jumps she's got to go the most just exactly. to get a. I mean, bro, imagine like let's be real. Yeah, can we be transparent here? Let's be. If we were in this generation, there's no way in hell my mom would buy me no three. Exactly. Yeah, see, there's no, a lot of. I would see. only have fakes because exactly. there is no way in hell my parents would have bought me one shoe yep. for mm-hmm. over three hundred dollars. Yep. Mm-mm. You have shoes right now that sat in stores two years ago, Jordans. That are now five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars yeah. on the resale market, clearly just because a particular celebrity was caught wearing that shoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now and like nowadays, the sneaker community, bro, is just you got little kids and stuff. They want to be sneakerheads, which is cool, but they're just seeing the base on hype into it. and certain shoe tubers that you know are put there, you know, to like, of course, to be more yeah, influential. And I'm like, bro, this habit is expensive as hell. I, and I so, think the best thing. This is on a personal note uh, mm-hmm. about my shoe selection that I've always had is besides like Air Force One and like a couple of Jordans here and there. I've never really been with like the mainstream style of shoe. And there you go. I've always leaned towards like the different shoes because everybody had Jordans. Everybody had. Mm-hmm. So right. I was never really interested in those shoes because I didn't want to wear everything that everybody right. else had. Right. Mm-hmm. So like it like this market really doesn't affect me as much because I go for like like now I've been yeah. like in the Pumas for some reason like I just I, I like the Coles wow. I like the uh, marathons yeah. now so I, I've been and you know a, my bad not to cut you off no, you but good. now Pumas are starting to become more hype yeah. because uh, I want to say who was it uh, I want to say one of the ball uh, kids or something like Mello. that Mello. Mello has a shoe deal now with, he does have some with a collaboration and them whole sold them you know, Rick they, and Morty yeah Rick and Morty they sold mm-hmm. out and now I've seen shoe tubers that never rock Pumas done like that they had a couple pairs and stuff. And you know, I saw like the resale market. Yep. I'm like, so you see how it kind of like, it just leeches. It what just affects. That? What is that showing you, bro? Just, yep. just the hypeness of it. I'm like, bro. Influence. Like, mm-hmm. Influence. Bro. Off of YouTube. Just, influence. So now the That's regular not a real kid, job. Yeah. That's not a real job. The regular kid that, that can't around. even go in the malls no more. <laughs> can't even get a Puma shoe. Yeah. Shoe. No. Yeah. And, and you're supposed to be looked down upon yep. because you actually found some shoes that look similar. Mm-hmm. But are yeah. New balances are Nick's. Are deemed There's like, nothing wrong with it if you got a fight like that, bro. That shit is stupid. And then they're deemed unauthorized, meaning that there are shoes with the same 
material. They just don't have. I'm sorry. I compared that shoe, and they I just don't have the right to like, say these are the actual. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, bro, if I'm Asian and I built this damn shoe and I built that shoe, but mm-hmm. I put a sticker on this one saying it's authorized, and this one looked just the same, and I went to sell it over here, and they're claiming right. this one fake. Who's really stupid at the end of the day? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest. I feel, true. Mm-hmm. I feel bamboozled. Like all my life, like just not not all my life because we was you know we was in the retail. Yeah, I was about to say our regular, life was so easy. regular yeah, retail at, at one point. Yeah, mm-hmm. the regular retail game. You're just getting lined. I couldn't even get those. So just imagine, like, but now it's like, bro, how stupid do you look? It's the same damn materials. One got a check, one got a, a X, or one didn't just get nothing. Mm-hmm. And I took it upon myself to wear that shoe for experiment, exper- uh, experimental reasons. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I've been rocking that shoe damn near shit every week. And of course, you know, y'all see my size and stuff. And that shoe, there's nothing another. wrong with that shoe. That shoe was still intact like a damn near regular one. And I was like, what the F? Like, damn, bro. My advice, stop going broke for the look. That too. Exactly. That too, yeah. it, it ain't worth it, my boy. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. It ain't worth at the end it. Of the day, yeah. It's like, bro, come on, bro. Exactly. And I hope uh, StockX something does happen because they are just really... I don't really know who controls the market value. And I'm like, bro, they can just easily, because it's stock X, they can just increase the price. Mm-hmm. Oh, so-and-so, oh, my price just went up on it. And that, now kids, little kids are going to be like, damn, well, I guess the right, I have no choice. Let me spend, you know, these few, couple, hey, sometimes a couple thousand dollars on a shoe. I'm like, bro, it's nah, not bro. really worth it, bro. That's nah, crazy. Nah, it's not, not, like, not to be nah. broke. If it's a special walking. collab, I get it to an extent, but no, not no regular shoes that sat before the pandemic. Jordan sat, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They sat to where they were easily available for like months. Even yep. they went to the outlets. Yep. And then oh, the pandemic happened, and then, oh, the uh, the Save the Last Dance. I guess a lot of people forgot Michael Jordan wore these Jordans. Mm-hmm. And bam, the <laughs> price of it just shot up. I'm like, that's how it works. What the hell? It's like, just like the stock market, And StockX and like GOAT, all them, you know, they just capitalized off that. some true shit. It's just like the stock market. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's a stock market. That's exactly yeah. what it is. So mm-hmm. all somebody got to do is just do something crazy in some, a certain pair of shoes. Beep. And them shoes going to go crazy. I don't don't remember who was the biggest the thing. Hell of a thing. Um, hell, Kylie Jenner started rocking Air Force Ones all whites. Yep. And I remember this podcast. Shout out to the Sneaker Box Radio Podcast. That's yeah. why YouTube, YouTube is so shout important. Out, yeah, nah, Guru, guru and to, bro. No, nah, give them a moment. Shout out to the Sneaker uh, Yeah, Box they're always podcast, showing love bro. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, for doing y'all thing, man. We appreciate y'all for being supporters. And we're supporters too, man. I, Facts. I made sure I follow the podcast link. And I be, I be getting up on my news because y'all boys are very, very Oh, and they keep it real, especially educated. after the season, bro. But I this story it. blew my mind. Guru, he owns, you know, he, he's a, he works at a shoe store. I think he manages one or has one. I remember he said there was an Instagram photo of Kylie Jenner just decided she wanted to rock some all-white Air Force One lows. And next thing you know, he had a multiple, a, a pack of, like, white girls that day, that week, they were looking for Air Force Ones. I'm like, and he was, he just like, bro, since when do y'all rock? So I get it, the influence. Mm-hmm. Hip hop or just celebrities always had a huge influence on us, but now it's at a, like an all time high. So we're yep. like, mm-hmm. and I was like, bro, yep. in, a, in a world where you can be yourself even more yep. and be cool, people still choose to be like other people. It's crazy. Yep. That's honestly, that's kind of, I ain't even gonna say that, but it's, <laughs> it's, nah, for real. But it's, it's really in a, in a day and age where you really can just kind of stand alone and stand mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. People are choosing to do everything that somebody else is doing. Yeah. When Birkin just... bags was popular, you had females that car ain't even past the, the year. <laughs> it's three years. Man, bro. I ain't it's... even, uh, I just can't, I don't want to say, but you had women. Uh, yeah. If a dude came by a Birkin, huh? You can't buy a Birkin. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, so you can't either? Okay, match made in heaven. Like, oh, camera. <laughs> like, you can't buy it. Again, Why would no, I buy it for you? It's crazy. You, I'm just like, but that's that's the power of influence, bro. Yeah, she's two something now? Two something now, yeah. God damn. That's how that long I've been. He ain't even buying her. That's how that long it's been since no, I've been bro, to McDonald's. Not my girl. You, 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 you good man, bro. You. I'm a gangbang. I'm a gangbang. <laughs> damn. Don't even ask. Damn. Don't even oh, McGame, man. That's a, a, that's a specialty. Don't even say him. Don't even say him. You're not special like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't get it's just the power of influence, bro. People yeah, are really, really definitely. so big on doing what somebody else is doing. And I don't mind having, you know, like uh, uh, getting ideas from people and stuff like that because we're all creators in our own way. So if mm-hmm. somebody do something and rocks something, I'm like, oh, man, I'm doing live. I'm not finna try to take the whole thing right. and just constantly even with the whole Kanye moon boots the moon you know, uh, remember when we first seen oh, the picture bro. of them don't get me oh bro Did you remember that oh yeah, I remember like, that bro who nobody would ever wear that was one, oh yeah that was the shoe I said I'm like bro 
that whole look kind of live and stuff. Now, seven years later, I don't think I can pull that off because it just looked no. Nah. That so, crazy. and that's another thing. To me. Kanye, these celebrities have the huge influence and there's a pro and a con to this. And like places like these resellers and StockX, they're going to capitalize off that. And so where the regular consumer is going to be like, Yo, I'm tired of this, bro. Oh, hey, give, give me a fake pair that look real shit. And they, they, don't, they don't know what's fake. They don't, you know. Finish, finish it, bro. StockX done made millions. And millions. <laughs> Off of people, bro. That's true. Yeah. Yep. I'm talking about just off of people that just love shoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And shout out to the ones, the the real the resellers that don't be taxing. They yeah. get they they get the stuff. Exactly. They get it from other people, or they'll you, you know you could sell uh, sell to them. Like the ones that are reasonable. They not got. They not about to try to hurt your bank or anything yeah. like that because they understand because they actually care mm-hmm. about the sneaker community. Yeah, Shout I, out to those individuals. I respect you guys. Yeah, I don't bash resellers to an extent. If you have a decent price, I'm like, okay, I get yeah. it. But a ridiculous price, like a 500 foot shooter just came out, nah, you can, uh, yeah. nah, bro. Nah, kick kiss rocks. my ass. Exactly. Kick like, rocks, bro. Kick them damn rocks, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like Brandon should definitely do. Oh, it's coming, man. Related stuff on Y'all see how the energy, see how I just, you know, bam. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. No, actually, this topic and stuff, I was going to. I was gonna start just you different know, clips like everything yeah. that, that, that every because bro, there's always something going on. In the just like in the entertainment world, there's always something going on in sneakers. Yeah. Speaking exactly of so. sneakers, bro, did y'all see them them horrible Balenciagas? Yes, you talked about. I'm like, yeah, bro, hold on, no, I, uh, you can put once again picture, bro, influence because it's bro. Balenciaga. Now you see how awful these look, bro. Oh They're basically like Chuck Taylors, but what is who is calling me, baby? I don't even know. <laughs> What's that? Baby who? But yeah, like they basically look like someone's comment. They look like some Chuck Taylor somebody threw on a power line. I can get <laughs> in <those>. the hell. <laughs> Not those the are the shoes. Yeah. And they're selling oh, them for somebody had like no, bro, no. This is a uh, Balenciaga unveils their new distress sneaker no, collection. It's more than distress. Retailing at eighteen fifty. The whole those specials. Those are Benny PS flyers that the beast destroyed at the end of Sandlot. Those are like like you yes. stress. You just yes. stress relieving type. Stuff to it. It was like, all right, burn it. Let me see if it's on the website. Step on it. Bro. Throw it. I don't know. If yeah, that's exactly. rub it in the sand. Yep. Okay, now nice. oh, look yep. at that shit. First, right? How, but I don't even. I didn't even see the price. Though. How much oh, are these? Eighteen hundred. Let me get some for me. Hold on. Let me see. Because eighteen hundred. I, I wear a size for somebody to tear up some Chuck Taylors. You can pre-order these, bro. These are one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars, bro. Why would I pay? Look at this. Shit. Something more than my rent. Look at this, bro. Is this Chuck Taylor slipper? They they chopped off. The Don't look like it's like PF flyers. Those are knock off Chuck yeah. Taylors. I want to say like, Bro. look at that. It's, it's it's just like when I seen them damn Louis. What was it Louis V or Louis V Air Max? Basically, yeah. I was Bro. like, what the fuck is this? Bro, seeing like these hiring uh uh look at places they're shit. known to do something like this because they know people are gonna cop them. Oh, these whole lie, bro. I gotta cap them all. I gotta get them all, bro. Balenciaga like, on the bottom, bro. I like a the, damn sharpie. That looks like the uh what what? Oh my, this the, is uh, garbage. Be someone, yes, the be yeah. someone graffiti. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like on the bottom of there. You know what's crazy? Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna get somebody. We're at the image right now. It's some garbage. some woke rapper. Yep. They're gonna get them to rock this, and people are gonna start buying. I just watched the episode in Atlanta, and they basically did the same shit right here. He uh, used the black dude to, um, I guess promote I their catch little. Up. I've been watching a, a new series. company. And I was like, oh my God. That's, and that's, that's they what, do that. They're going to do. They're going to give these pairs to somebody. Because they know black people, bro. We are the coolest. We know, we're cool. we know this going like. So they're going to get somebody to be a sellout and go and rock these yep. shoes and get people to go and buy these shoes. Bro, get one of the Kardashians to rock the college Jenner, one of them. Oh, so oh they're going to rock. Yeah. Bam. With a little distressed tea or something. Yeah, exactly. Some yep. Somebody was like, oh my God. Hey, man. Look. I like I mean, they already, they already do that to Air Force. It's not like when you yeah. see it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like them uh, distressed chucks you got on, bro. I like them Balenciagas. No, Balenciaga, these, baby. These hell, are my yeah. grass cutters. We t- <laughs> Bam. These are actually chucks. Well, and, bro, oh, man, <laughs> I miss my grandpa because my grandpa, I got uncles now, but my grandpa would say the exact same thing. Hey, all you got to do. I got some shoes in the closet. I got to throw on them. Bam. All you got to do is off take of off the Chuck Taylor stitching and then yeah. uh, yep. run bro. in the mud for a second. That's then, it. Then spray paint Balenciaga on the bottom. You fly this motherfucker in the club, boy. You good. <laughs> Bro. I'm telling y'all. What are they saying? Bro. How much? All of them are out of stock except two sizes. See that? They See? sold out. Just like that. Who was buying these? See? <laughs> it's like the, the human race, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go to another multiverse. Hey, we can go, hey, we can go to Walmart and get some knockoff chocolate. Hey, we can Everybody make some right need now. therapy. So, 
We Shit, need to go to yeah, I'm, I'm down. Hey, we can hit a lick. We Clean can, lick. We can spray, get some spray paint, bro. I'll, I'll put the ITC or in the clutch. There you go. Bam. We sell stock X. Let's go. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? We know somebody that spray paint too. Bam. That look company. at that. You playing. I'm dead ass serious. Me too. They, they all right. I'm dead ass. Buy some chucks. Yeah. Oh, you ain't even gotta buy chucks. You can actually buy uh it's some shoes that look like chucks. <laughs> exactly. They don't even have a uh the chucks. We can go to, to Horn right now That's and buy some need. shit. <laughs> That's the one we need, the uh, one that look like Chuck, but don't got Actually, I think I, exactly. I, I can get a discount on the Chucks too, because it's connected with the Nike stuff. It is with Nike oh, now. That's oh, right, yeah. So bam. Yeah, because well, I got see. Isaiah's song. Yep. Bro, bro. That's awful. That is, hey, you. Can, we're not telling people how to spend their money. Spend exactly. how you want to spend. Don't go broke. Trust me. Take go it. broke. Take it from me and bam. Look at that. Do right your thing, there. man. How much regular? Chucks are six. How much are they? Sixty-five. That's not bad. Well, then it was shit. Well, inflation, but thirty. Bro, we can really get that and just damn walk in mud, hey, sand, ten terror. Ten of them. Yeah. Ten, and then bro, throw them hoes in the dirt. Them. Shit, a couple times, kick them on the ground, that, bam. <laughs> <laughs> we, in, we in business. Perfect. That's wild. They don't never got my size. They already shit. sold out. Yep. Hey, man, if you got the money, then whatever. <laughs> do what you want to do. Bro. <laughs> whatever. It's I, your I'm money, not, but even damn. Like, like, he said, I can't even say nothing I, positive about this whatever. shit. Yeah, nice. Whatever. If you we at a point in life now where boys is <laughs> you tripping. You spend $1,500 on some um, grass cutters, do what you do, bro. Just because it says Balenciaga on it. Bro, only two <laughs> I'm about to spray sizes, paint my some of my old Air Forces are available. Yeah, they sold out. Hey, spray yeah. paint some of your old Air Forces over the Nike sign and just put Balenciaga on there, boy. There you, you go. Get, well, I think there are some. The uh, the, I know Nike does do collaborations with, with the Nike and like Bam. Air Forces, and they'll stock they'll, X they'll exclusive. They'll say something on there, or they'll add something to the shoe. Distress yeah, forces. forces, yeah. They used to we call them distress forces. It's crazy, oh, man. bro. If they come out with some, <laughs> some distress forces. forces, what sizes are these? These are like waist pants. Like. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get the size. <laughs> it's Balenciaga. They have a yep. different metric of measuring my, your feet. My bank account. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'll be damn. I don't care if I'm rich. I'm not buying this shit. You like buy eighteen hundred dollar distress? No, bro. That's more. Y'all than haters, my, bro. It's yes. more than my rent. Y'all bro. haters. I'm not doing that, bro. Exactly. <laughs> like, what look like? We are haters. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> I accept that. See, shit like that, eighteen hundred stuff like that. You got regular what Jordans, bro. Clothes, that are like bro. that now. I'm on the Balenciaga website right now. You get just, off, bro. Yeah. Get You're off, only man. gonna upset yourself. It's just, just let it go. It's not for us. Hold on, I just need to. I just. It's not like Fubu. It you wouldn't know, be for me if us, I, this is It not wouldn't for be us. for me if I, I had Elon understand. Musk money. All I want to know is how much a T-shirt costs. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna pay some money? Six hundred and fifty. This is a swim See, T-shirt. That's my, it's because it says Balenciaga. It's I'm somewhat biased. It's a black T. Me being a shoehead, but when I see T-shirts selling for this price, I bet I can make that. Anybody can make that shirt. I bet you can. I believe you. <laughs> and then let's see knocking on your door. Yep. Cut it. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> regular. Bro, this whole like what is They don't know it's coming from me, man. No. <laughs> well, if they watch this, they do. <laughs> it's a black tea. I'm just talking, man. Bro, this one's a black tea. This That's a literal Bro, black. Check, check the cotton Wait. uh on, on here. What type cotton of cotton thread. it is, damn it? <laughs> it's satin. Then I say uh polyester. Shit. Nah, this Where'd it go? This is, I don't. That's, that was a black tea. That was a black tea, bro. Yep. How much was it? Five hundred, huh? Three hundred. Still, <laughs> still. But this one don't have Balenciaga on it. So who? Would it's know? just a plain black bro, that's tea. Just, yeah. For at 300. that point, that you product just... detail: ribbed jersey, <gasps> bodycon fit, crew neck, short sleeves, made in Italy. Ooh. Oh, it's Italy. That's why. This product cannot be returned for hygiene reasons. This one don't even have Balenciaga oh, on it. I wonder why. This one is literally just a black tee. And you know what? These companies, they do this on purpose because they know it's going to sell. Because people going to buy that yep. shit. People, people just people get like addicted flexing. to that. Yep. Oh, yeah, we like yeah. to flex Check on Check out my $300 black Balenciaga tee. t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Check out my okay. Balenciaga I'm sorry. I lost all socks. hope in it when I copped a Travis Scott t-shirt off of his official website. And the quality looked like some Walmart in the early How much does that type. t-shirt cost? That t-shirt was like $45. Okay, that's not bad. No, no, for but I thought you were talking about this one. I was about to cuss you out. Look at this one. <laughs> oh no, no, no! no. <laughs> yeah, it was like forty-five, maybe even I think <laughs> fifty. Dark but... Knight cape. Like, what the fuck is I that? I thought you was about to be like two hundred dollars. Oh no, 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 no! Nah, ain't this one. <laughs> what is it? He looked like the scarecrow. Look at this. Look like shirt. Jeepers Creepers, bro. This is like a this shirt. Who rocks? I, I'm, I don't. That this, shit is wild. This, this, this rich people. One thousand six hundred and ninety dollars. 
I'm good, bro. bro I can't. You don't want to pay for that? No, nah, man. That's cheap, bro. Nah, that's that ain't pushing P. Just drop the bag on it, Ross. That's pushing insanity. <laughs> that's that's insanity. Insanity. Pushing insanity. Who is yeah. this nigga, bro? Hey, man. Look, at the end of the day, do what you want with your money. Whatever floats <laughs> your boat, like Dub up, says. Man. And uh, <laughs> yeah, man. You see him? You don't think that's fire? It's not, bro. Look at the hair. It's cheap as hell. Man, I'm good, bro. <laughs> they they got to be extensions. Dub, just Swear drop the bag, bro. Yeah, I'm good. Stop playing. Yeah. Stop playing, dog. Shit is annoying. <laughs> yeah, man. I can't even believe that the freaking white. The audacity. Yeah, nope. The lights cut off on us, bro. Yeah, even the lights. Yeah, the light was yeah, like, we gotta yeah, yeah. turn that shit off. Yeah, yeah. The lights went off. It's, on it's time to wrap it up, B. Right, but nah, man. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this part, bro. Uh, we need to do some more rambling, bro, because it's like, uh, hey, I'm with it. Shit, like, come on, bro. It's, I don't, it's, it's not meant for us. It's not. I don't care what tax bracket I get into in the future. It's still not going to be I'm not me. buying no t-shirt for $700. Exactly. And if <laughs> it's gets, that's, how you stay, that's how you stay rich. You don't a do stupid shit like that. For oh, $300, tea, bro. For I, I doubt Elon Musk is buying it. Elon got a Walmart shirt on yeah. right now. Exactly. He's winning a bit of money, bro. He's not buying $700 mm-hmm. for no t-shirt. I was just at Target and seeing some buyers Target t-shirts. Bro, they be Walmart. Walmart be getting it. I literally just bought a Yu Yu Hakusho show. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro! I'm telling you, boys, be that's where you get your shirts from. Walmart, 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 Walmart Burlington. Walmart, I'm constantly Walmart, getting compliments Walmart. on the shirts I have. Route like 21, but this Route is 21. Route 21 is like, bro, no, bro. It's it's not about the hype. It's what you it's like. Not. That's fair. Yes, sir. Man, if you could pick your mic up and drop it, bro. Bob, what you <laughs> I like? Exactly. Want to do that, but exactly. I don't Bob, know if we want to like? drop that mic. Nope. Right. <laughs> but nah, man. This we enjoyed this episode. You know what? This mic is as much as that T-shirt. Exactly. This is the T-shirt right here. He's been yep. using it every day. It ain't been washed and shriveled and no. in, in brown now no. or, no. or gray. Imagine washing no it one time and it shrinks so to a small. I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> <laughs> and it shrinks to a small. Oh I'm gonna God. go get the gun. Yeah, <laughs> we enjoyed y'all, man. We yep. catch y'all in the next episode, man. <laughs> yes, I sir. Podcast. Hope y'all enjoyed it, bro. We out of here. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.